follow Virgo. Here's a month by month tarot reading for 2018 for the Sun, Moon and Rising Virgo. You start off beautifully with the Sun, which is the card of success, happiness, uh, childlike energy, very active, brilliant and bright. You are happy and you realize it. And it's even reinforced with the second card, which is Ten of Cups, which talks about emotional fulfillment and happy family and they lived happily ever after energy. It also indicates that uh, you accept and embrace each and every feeling that brought you here, each and every experience, emotional experience that brought you here. So beautiful start to your to your year. In February you have more difficult energy of the devil, which can be a Capricorn, but usually I see it as an energy and this is the energy very mm, it is a life force within you, but we usually have some doubts and fears connected with this life, uh, life force, with this life energy. So this card is about all the boundaries we have and we fear to trespass, or our fears, or our. Uh, restrictions, also habits, uh, also these unhealthy habits we have, and the necessity to look them in the face, to understand ourselves more, to see the beauty of the whole picture, of the whole person that we are. And you have it with the world card as the background energy. The world card means the end of the cycle, finishing on the road and it's ve it's a very successful card it is a saturn card so you have two saturn cards we may say because uh, saturn is a ruler of capricorn and saturn is a great teacher that tests us and his lessons can be tough but when we pass the tests uh, it praises us and um, we are gifted afterwards. So it seems like an indication that in order to finish something, in order to close the cycle successfully, we need to face our fears. We need to find out what uh, stops us from becoming more ourselves and what usually uh, brings fear what usually we don't like to see okay so a promising energy of a kind but also a demanding one in march you have the wheel of fortune which is the turn of events and the turn for good this on the other hand is a card of Jupiter, which is a very beneficent planet. Saturn is uh, often seemed as seen as a, a maleficent planet, but this is a beneficial planet, so it's turning for your good. And you have it together with Knight of Pentacles, which is the card of Virgo. This is your energy. Careful, meticulous planning and moving forward. Not hasty, really sure where you want to go so what this what this indicates is that your plans are in accordance with a great cycle of life and that your plans uh, bring you closer to the person you can become to your full potential so, so far, it's a very beautiful reading, also very strong because you have three major arcanas. And what I feel is that 
uh, after these three months, you may have this feeling, okay, okay, but where am I in this? I mean, those winds of, of, of major arcana are blowing very strongly and you may feel that you have no uh, <laughs> no word to say here, that your voice isn't heard, that you are just a puppet in the hands of greater cosmic forces. And I see it here in April, where you have five of pentacles, which is a card of luck, and I think it's a luck of of yourself. I I I never I never read this card like this. It's the first time I feel something like this, like you're asking, where am I, in all this, in in this puzzle? What am I? Do I really matter for 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 those forces? Do I have something to say? Where is my will in this? Can I add something to this? <laughs> and you realize that. And I think it's a very precious realization. It's a precious thought to add your uh, opinion and add your insight into this. And you have strength as the additional energy. And it's very much about this. Strength is a card of Leo. And Leo is all about me, I, the radiant, uh, the radiant personality. Who am I and why I am so important and precious for life and for, uh, for, for the world and for the whole universe. You are needed in the universe, this card is saying. We need your strength. We need your beauty. And I think you realize that. That there was something lacking here in this puzzle. And now you realize that, that it was you all the way. And I think you, after you realize that, you really put it in, into working. Because here you're definitely planning something. And this is two of wands, and two of wands is uh, Mars in Aries. Aries is a cardinal sign, so the beginnings. And Mars is a card of expansion. So you want to create something, and now you're planning how to use your creative forces, how to channel your energy for the greatest good of you and the whole universe. You have this universe in your hand. Finally, we see you here, converging your energy into something. And you're not alone. I think you have the support of the system uh, of important people that are uh, after you. This is a heritage, um, but very broadly, this is a system that supports you and you are also a part of this system and everybody participates in this and everybody benefits from this. And p perhaps you do it not only for yourself, this plan is not only for yourself, but also for, uh, for this group of people, for these people you trust. But generally, this is a very strong uh, support here, I see. Um, and seeing the greater perspective. This is also your card. This is Virgo. Mercury in Virgo as far as I can remember. So. Uh, it seems like you finally see that. All this was for you to become more you. To become more strong in who you are. In what you are. In what you bring. To other people's lives and to the universe. In June, you have the Hierophant card. The Hierophant is another major arcana in your reading. You have already four major arcanas, not, um, not counting this and this. So very many major arcanas for you. The Hierophant is all about um, institutions, force from above, wisdom from above, faith and connection with, uh, with the divine by someone or something. 
So it can indicate that someone is judging you. Someone is evaluating your plan. Perhaps you put it forward for uh, other people to see and they are evaluating this. And I feel this is a very uh, severe because we have King of Swords here who can also be a judge of some kind, an analytical mind that uh, labels things. And I have this question in mind, do you really need it? Why is this energy needed? I mean, it's very grounded. This is, the, it, this is a Taurus card. So you have Capricorn, Taurus, Five of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, the world, which is Saturn. You have all uh, um, earth and fire here. So another earthy energy, uh, putting the wisdom to the ground. But I wonder, do you really need it? Do you need anyone to judge you? Or is it you that you're judging Perhaps you're judging yourself in a very harsh and severe way. Because I don't see mercy here. I see only a very cold evaluation. And I wonder, is this what you really need? Why do you do it, I wonder? And we'll see how it all unfolds in the second part of this reading. <laughs> 